Today is February 6, 1943. The place is Ann Arbor, Michigan, and John and Calhoun writes to his lover Dorothy back home in Iowa, saying, We have a table space in the library, a slab in the classroom, a P.O. box, a locker in Hutchins Hall, a locker in the gym, and our room, and a place in the classroom of the lounge. So, we have lots of things to remember. John intends to catch up with Dorothy in the midst of his training. While things must have been pretty rough between the two of them, considering that this was right after the Great Depression, and that John had been training to join the army to help fight in World War II, their relationship seemed to flourish, as he had still seemed to care about a lot of things back home. He previously writes in the letter, talking about her personal life, as well as his and the community's. I'll bet you did enjoy your stay at home, and I'm glad you got to have one, even if you did almost break your leg to get it. John continues to write to Dorothy, talking about community members back at home. On that day, on February 6, 1943, the Daily Iowan published their newspaper with local headlines ranging from something as simple as Girl Scouts to have tenderfoot induction, song practice and hikes, to something as complicated as Coralville Mayor dies after severe illness. On that same day, the Daily Iowan published a headline that read, Allied Victory Near, Stalin. And so, with that very headline being published, and the Battle of Stalingrad coming to an end. It'll only be a matter of time before World War II comes to a close, and the Allies win for the safety of Europe and the world. John finishes writing his letter, saying, I've got my insignia sewed on my shirts. Seem like there's always something to do. And then signs it, love and kisses, 